The 20th century, a hundred years of innovation that has shaped and changed the world as we know it today. From the first commercial cars to the first rocket, out of all the creative and groundbreaking inventions, the Polaroid stands out as the most influential creation in the history and development of photography, reinventing the way we capture the moment. It shocked the world with its small, sleek design, combined with the ability to take colored pictures so quickly, making it a turning point not only in the history of photography, but in technological advancements as well. Enter an instant click, the legacy of the Polaroid. Edwin Herbert Land was born on May 7, 1909, in the state of Connecticut. Growing up, he was known for being a curious little boy and taking apart household items like clocks. After his dad scolded him about taking apart a phonograph, he vowed nothing or nobody could stop me from carrying through the execution of the experiment. This tinkering mentality was an early sign of the beginnings of a great inventor. Before the Polaroid, you had to, from what I remember, um, you had to take your pictures, you kept them on like a, what was what it was called, a camera roll, and then you had to like send them away to be developed because there wasn't like any 24 like hour like photo places or like a CVS you could go to. So like the process probably took, before you got your photos, I would say like a week and a half to two weeks. The process of taking photos was tedious and long. However, Edwin Land was about to create a turning point in photography revolutionizing it with his startup, The Polaroid Company. Land was sparked to create a new method of taking photos quicker and more efficiently, all because of the remarks of his three-year-old daughter, Jennifer. Prior to the 1940s, The Polaroid Company grew as a business that dabbled in multiple product lines, regarding polarizing technology such as sunglasses and 3D cinema eyewear. After patenting the polarization technology and developing a relationship with the U.S. government, the company created military helmets during World War II. These helmets were used for war dogs and soldiers. The thought of an instant photo had not come to his mind before Lance's three-year-old daughter, Jennifer, and their photo session prompted him to think of a solution to the lengthy time it took to process a photo. His daughter's demanding remark, why can't I see the picture now, was a stepping stone for the company that would dominate the photography market for years to come. Compared to what the public was used to during the 60s and 70s, taking a picture on the Polaroid was very simple. Although easy to use, the sciences behind it is complex, condensing the dark room process or using paper covered with chemicals into a small packet. In the SX-70, the thick border underneath the picture is a packet film sandwiched together in multiple layers. When the shutter button is clicked, rollers push the image out, compressing the layers of film together. This type of film is known as integral film. To work the Polaroid, you would insert this packet through the printer. Then, aim your lens at an object, person, or landscape and click the shutter button. Then you would receive a Polaroid photo with the blue center. In a few minutes, the blue center would turn into your picture. Turn that up. And open this up. Like that, and you have to have this spread all the way out. And you'd run your film this way, and then it would have paper going to this with a holder. Then you would be having a lead paper that would come across and you would close it up and you have your paper laying here. Then you'd lay your paper over here, okay? And so by doing that, you would go like this, okay? And then you would lock it up like that. And then you would have just a little piece of paper laying right here. And the first one, to take the first picture, you'd have to clear it off uh, because it was just um, regular paper. So you hit the switch like that, push it down, and then you'd pull it out, and now you'd be ready to shoot. So you would open it up, like that. Oh, wrong one. Open this up this way. In like that, okay. Pull it out. Pull it out, you got that right. Okay. And you'd pull this up. This was the sight picture that you would take, okay? And so, and this is the shutter. 
that would take the picture. So you'd aim at your subject. Okay, point it now, point it towards you. I would take the picture, snap. After four years of work, the Polaroid Model 95 was unveiled in 1947 by Edwin Land, wowing the world with its camera that took photos in an instant. It was released in Boston at the Jordan Marsh Department Store on Black Friday, 1948, selling for the total of $90. 57 cameras were in stock, and on the same day, all 57 of them were sold. The Polaroid Model 95 was a success, but how would they continue it? Land's vision for the camera was to make it smaller and better. Cameras like the Color Pack in 1963 becoming one of the first film cameras to feature color film. Polaroid introduces an economy model of the famous Color Pack camera for half the price of the original. Same great film, same fast loading, same electric eye, Yet it's half the price of the original model. You get the same beautiful color prints in 60 seconds, black and white in 10, in the same big size. Yet it's half the price of the original model. Isn't it your turn to own a Polaroid color pack camera? The Swinger was a cheap camera targeted towards teens. Meet the Swinger, the incredible new Polaroid land camera for 1995. It talks to you. Swing it up and take a look. Then turn the knob until it says yes, right in the viewfinder. Okay, you've got the right setting. Ten seconds later, you zip off a perfect black and white picture. The swinger freezes action. It's always in focus. And it gives you beautiful close-ups. Incredible, especially at 1995. Hey, meet the swinger, all right, swinger. Swinger, all right, swinger. It's more than a camera, it's almost a lot. It's only $19.95. Swing it up, it says yes. Take the shot, count it down, zip it off. Hey, meet the swinger, all right, swinger. Meet the swinger, all right, swinger. But most importantly was the SX70, a camera that could fold in the middle and slide into your pocket in the early 70s. How much should you expect from a great camera? Polaroid's SX70 lets you shoot automatically, very close, or very far away, in lots of light, or hardly any. Shoot every second and a half, and have beautiful pictures in minutes. No other camera in the world does it all. The SX70 Alpha 1. Land was like the Steve Jobs of the mid-20th century. In fact, many of his ideas for improving products were used by Steve Jobs as well, both for visionaries who wanted their company to hold a spear of influence over their respective industries. Land expanding the capabilities into a more compact, cheaper design with color. The Polaroid was a lot like the smartphones of today. Today, Polaroid has established itself as a key player in the media industry. Artists used the Polaroid to create stunning works of photography like Andy Warhol's work using film cameras. Other artists like Keith Haring and Chuck Close, famously known for their paintings and printmaking, were also known for creating works of art like Ethereum and their self-portraits, which even showed the depth of a simple picture. But Polaroid also began a series of innovations in the photography industry. Without Edwin Land's brilliant mind, the concept of a film camera would have never been made. But the Polaroid not only contributed to the past, but influenced the future of the media. Today, the Polaroid is seen in the media as a way to convey a retro atmosphere, making appearances in multiple genres of art and music. Polaroid cameras are truly an extraordinary innovation. It changed the way people perceive the camera, from an unaffordable luxury that took days or weeks to process photos, to a cheap, simple-to-use camera that could generate a photo in 10 minutes. Without it, we wouldn't have cameras like Nikon and Canon, or brilliant art from artists like Keith Haring, Andy Warhol, and Chuck Close. And so, there ends a brilliant era of instant photography. <laughs>